Left hook, right hand. And Marquez says, come on then. There's some bravery and Mexican heart. See that elbow comes forward. He catches a lot on that elbow. Elbow out. Oh, There's the good right hand again. Right hand. Another right hand. Now you can in round one that we sometimes see in several of Flamengo Weather's fights. There's a right hand by Mayweather that tags my daughter. Mayweather now getting into rhythm, changing the looks. Winning. Winning. Left hook grazed Gaddy's chin. And another big left hook catches him slightly. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power too. Entirely too much speed. The power punches, 110 of 164, 67% rate for Floyd Mayweather. You see how Mayweather was able to stick his jab in between all those quick jabs of Loretto. In a career-changing fight. Counter jab by Alvarez and sticks a shot to the body. And there's a right hand, very quickly delivered by Mayweather. What's intriguing about this fight is Mayweather is not throwing the right hand, then moving away to his right. That was the right hand that was determined to find out whether Sean Bay could take it. Mitchell took it pretty well, but not those two. Now Sean Bay begins to hold on. Mayweather's clocked him with three big shots. But, and that does demonstrate that the jab, if there is a difference in this fight so far for Mayweather, if he would be ahead on the scorecards, it would be because of the jab. Hard right hand by Mayweather. His best counter right in a couple of rounds. I don't know whatever it is, but he's not, he hasn't been throwing it that much. And just the, the speed of Mayweather in his hand and his physical strength is just still amazing me. And Shane is looking old to me. His body doesn't have that tone. Go inside. He got caught with a choke. Hard right hand by Mayweather. Captain keeps coming. Mayweather strafes him with another right hand. Let him off, let him off. As Mayweather threw a wild right hand. Now Guerrero again walking him down along the ropes. Mayweather, shoulder roll, and then pops off that piston like right hand. And it's been landing very, very accurately, Paulie. Yeah, he's very sharp. He's got Robert's timing down. Robert's going to have to make some kind of adjustment. Play you, play you. After 30 seconds, we go in the fourth round, scheduled for six. That was the best left hook of the night. Back to the ear of Chavez, and that's it backwards. So now he adds another left hook, and down goes Chavez. Three, four. Right hand lead and a left hook behind. Ten rounds finished, two rounds to go. Land something solid early. To make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Nigeria with a left hook on the break. And now there's a knockdown in round one. And get it. The vulnerability of guys who haven't fought much is that they wear in the, er, in the later round. This one's scheduled for oh. six. Down goes Keeper. Quick, Three, straight, four, right hand punch. Five. Seems to six. be aware of what's going on. Um, Trying to get away from Mitz Mayweather to hits Mayweather. Definitely becoming a much more offensive fighter in the last two or three outings and showing it here as Miguel Cotto's forcing him to be an offensive fighter. Yeah, but Mike Miguel can't really get. Well, February the 24th. You look at some of the numbers in round number one. Mayweather, oh, there it goes Akadaka. Making, making those numbers probably academic. And I do not think he's getting. Morell. Which is he has to do tonight. He, he's got to. Rick is making him have to fight. Al Hatton is hurt by those two big Mayweather shots. He's getting him the same punch contender. 
Interesting round. First minute of the round definitely belongs to... Two fighters are talking to each other. And while Shane's talking, Mayweather hits him with a left hook and a right hand. And Shane's still talking. That's, that's what he should do. I mean, it's, it's not... Not only in the ring, even outside of the ring sometimes. Well, of course, it's been pointed out many times. Grew up, grew up in the fight game. His father and both of his uncles, all very good professional fighters. There's a hard right hand by Mayweather. Both going short oh, and keeps coming. Catches him. From Mayweather, he does have a tremendous repertoire. He is an artist at work at times in there. Oh, big right hands, two of them, and he's wobbled by those. And uh, Mayweather's getting to him here. Is he going to stop him? He's landed 115 punches out of 284 he's thrown. Here's yeah, the variation. He throws it. He throws the right hand around. He throws it to the stomach. He throws it to the head straight. He throws it around again. It's a one-two combination. You just can't see. Guerrero. Guerrero just can't time it. You just don't know which one it's going to be because all of them are fast. And another right hand hurts Guerrero. Who was a welterweight back in the 1960s? He went about 15 and four. And oh, four. right hand by Mayweather. That one really startled Nunez. Startled him, but he shakes it off. Nunez, a tough kid. Delivering combinations, but a lot of them bouncing off his arms and shoulders. And Mayweather with the jab sticks the right hand, and there's a counter left hook to the body by Canelo. But Mayweather keeping him at, at bay with the jab. Either way, it's caught. <laughs> <laughs> advantage virtually every time Brazellas tries to throw. To the higher divisions, Chavez would be a serious player at this weight class. Sizzling right hand over the top by Floyd Mayweather. Counter left hook inside. Solid shot. But nothing to dent Mayweather. Well, Marquez will not stop trying. But uh, he's not even really mounting any worthwhile attacks now. Oh, right hand! That was a big shot from Mayweather. Blood from the nose of Marquez, and it spurs him in. Oh, there are sophisticated fighters who can do that against many opponents, uh, using their shoulders for defense. Well, Judas still... Ebert now fiddling with the nose as he tries to get the blood flow to stop. And Mayweather comes back with rights and Ebert will go down and That's it. Joe Cortez says that'll do. One minute, 28 seconds okay, of the okay. first round, or about a minute and a half of the first round, something like that. And Floyd. One thing I would say is that Oscar Deloya should throw his jab more. But I'm sure he's reluctant to throw the jab because of the quick right hand counters of Floyd Mayweather. He's so quick and slinky with his right hand. Every time Deloya gets Mayweather near the ropes, you can feel the urgency as Oscar tries to settle. Pretty boy Floyd is pretty strong tonight. And he whacks Diego Corrales on the chin with a left hook. And they got to be careful about following a guy who has knockouts on his records also. You got to follow him with punches. Well, just everybody who faces it. Short right hand when he's in that position. His speed advantage is just as significant inside as out. Good right hands by Mayweather. Over and under. Valdemir getting tattooed around the head. Valdemir needs to stay right where he is making him. Uppercut by Mayweather. Good punch. Yeah, Florida, Florida's really... He's mixing up his yeah, attack. Well, Ricky is breaking the best out of him. and comes forward again. But it, it's Silly, the man who's training Louis Leha for this fight, Jesse Ravello, was an Olympic coach. Down goes Leha on a right hand over the top by Mayweather. A, a, a quick Seven. right hand. Was it a Eight. flash knockdown or something more serious? Double shot from Canelo. Countered by the right hand of Mayweather who now walks down Canelo, puts the jab through the guard and then sets it up for a straight right hand. There's a right hand that jacked the jaw of Canelo Alvarez. Minute left in the ninth. Watch how often Mayweather changes the look. He'll bend down, he'll stand straight up, he'll give you the shot. Because 
he really hasn't been challenged in this fight. Big left by Mayweather, and down goes Ayala. And referee Chuck Haslett's going to put an end to this one in the Floyd Mayweather is willing to fight any fighter from 154 on down. You break him and I'll take him. You can mark my word to that. A fighter like Mayweather, when you let show up, you're trained to throw short punches and you're trained to defend against short punches, not wild looping punches. So the wild looping punches usually are off ripping for him. First knockdown of the fight comes on a straight right hand. Right into the mouth of Mitchell. Six, seven, Beautiful eight. double right hand at that. sent to the canvas on the final punch of round four. Just as we were going to break, the timing was awful for us, but here, you will see Arroyo waging a battle and gets whacked by a great left hook and then a right hand by Mayweather. Fighters like Sugar Ray Robinson. Well, there's a brilliant start to round seven. The super quickness of Floyd Mayweather. When he wants to dig the shots in, spreads the feet. There's the right hand. Superb. He told me in London, Jim, it will be a, a chess match, but a brutal chess match. Justin Juco. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing. Juco is hurt by that right hand. Just as I said, it might go the distance, of course. Floyd hammers Juco with two right hands. And Mitch Halpern counts. And Juco doesn't look like he wants to go on. That was a perfect example. Shane, Shane threw about five of them legitimately punches. And Floyd threw one little short right hand and did more damage than he did with about seven of those little pity pad shots. Stop, stop, stop. How are you doing now? Ortiz tries to sportsmanship. Mayweather makes some pay. What a rookie mistake there. Seven, Ortiz. Seven. It's up to seven and eight. He's not going to make it. Nine and ten. It's all over. He's still on. As he... He's a tough campaigner, Marquez. And he said he's doing this to the Mexican people, but down he goes. And that was sharp and slick. Oh, when she plays cards, she gets everybody over. She's playing cards, she talks to her. So, that's where somebody tells you from that family, Mama Mayweather can also box. You're right. She can handle herself. She handles Floyd. Oh, and Floyd Mayweather handles Felipe Garcia. He finally cracks through. And Felipe having difficulty getting up very rarely in this position. And this fight is stopped. So Floyd Mayweather ends up with the sensational finish. Bill Calzaki, who's 44 and done. He can stride for stride for the years. Check what left a hook. left hook. A check left hook what right a left into hook. it. You never saw it. Four. Four. What a perfect shot. Six. The left hook by Mayweather Seven. and Eight. that tells you everything you know. And he is on shaky legs. Yeah. He's on shaky legs. He's got to buy time here. Well, he's not the type of fighter that knows how to do that. Well, let's take a look at the knockdowns and the stoppage, and you describe what happened and how the well, right drift now, of the fight I was going. Back, it's called the check hook. You, it's called the check hook. Uh, you, you learn that, you know, you learn that shot from the old legendary trainers in uh, Michigan. It's called the check hook. Well, I want, I wanted to show the, the fans that um, I still got. It. That's why I went through hand therapy to show them that I can still punch with, I can still punch with power. 
and I still got the, you know, those exciting fights in me left. You know, because I think a few fights ago, I gave the fans a couple of, couple of dub fights, but I wanted to come back with, with spark and a lot of energy. So that's what we did tonight.